I'm very glad to introduce Madana Lhasa Devi Dasi to you. She will be speaking about text for a uh, text 20 of chapter four of the Bhagavad Gita as it is. The virtual stage, so to say, is yours. Thank you very much. I'm missing actually to see Berlin Temple last time uh, you were there. So. Well, this time we could, we cannot be there because yeah. uh, government restrictions are so tight that we could only be there for 40 minutes and oh. not if we couldn't even sing, we cannot eat. So anyway, we're joining <laughs> you from the safety of our homes and uh, safety and comfort of our homes actually. So it's Okay, thank you. So we are reading today from Bhagavad Gita 420. So I will just pray a little bit in the beginning and I will directly go uh, on the verse. Oma Gyana Timiranda Sya, Gyana Jana Shalakaya, Chakshuru Militam Yena, Tasna Shri Gura Veda Maha. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatha Shiva Sadigora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Pancha Kalpa Tarubya Sha Kripa Siddhubya Eva Cha Patita Nam Pavane Bio Vaishnave Bio Namo Namaha So the verse Tyaktva Karma Vala Sangam Nitya Tripto Nirashraya Karmanya bi pravito bi naiva kinchit karoti saha. Abandoning all attachment to the results of his activities, ever satisfied and independent, he performs no fruitive action, although engaged in all kinds of undertakings. Purport by Shila Prabhupada. This freedom from the bondage of actions is possible only in Krishna consciousness when one is doing everything for Krishna. A Krishna conscious person acts out of pure love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and therefore he has no attraction for the results of the action. He is not even attached to his personal maintenance, for everything is left to Krishna. Nor is he anxious to secure things, nor to protect things already in his possession. He does his duty to the best of his ability and leaves everything to Krishna. Such an unattached person is always free from the resultant reactions of good and bad. It is as though he were not doing anything. This is the sign of akarma, or actions without fruitive reactions. Any other action, therefore, devoid of Krishna consciousness, is binding upon the worker, and that is the real aspect of vikarma, as explained herein before. Once more the verse. Abandoning all attachment to the results of his activities, ever satisfied and independent, he performs no fruitive action, although engaged in all kinds of undertakings. So, as we know, um, actually about this world, what we know about this world is that this world is full of dualities. And we can see examples of these dualities um, in nature, for example. So we know we have day and then we have night. We have men, we have women. We have winter, summer. So, so many dualities and also uh, you heard probably about yin yang so like that like these two <laughs> powers exist in this world um, good and bad and things like that so and also when we look in our lives we also can see that these dualities are manifested also in our lives actually every day so we also know that sometimes we experience good things are happening to us and sometimes uh, bad things are happening. So, and these changes actually comes, um, these changes are coming either we want it or not. No one of us plan to be unhappy. We all want to be happy, but somehow after some period of happiness, some problems, some difficulties also occurs. So actually some periods of our life will be very successful, will be very ecstatic and things will come easily to us. 
and the other period will be maybe a little bit heavy <laughs> and challenging and um, probably you all have experience of this i have experience of this like in everyday life sometimes even in one day this mood this these things are changing sometimes we have amazing morning and then in the evening i don't know something happens which like somehow ruin our day our, ruin our day let's say like this and um, when we look at all these changes we can see that um, most of the time we cannot influence on these circumstances so for us in this life in this material life everything is a little bit unpredictable and i can give one very nice example actually when i was going um, to the college i study a lot i i learned so many things and every day like i study i prepared myself for exam and there were some situations when i prepare really completely i learned let's say like the whole book everything what professor gave i i learned and then i came to the exam and I, I was expecting, okay, now I will know everything, but still some questions arise, which, yeah, I, I didn't prepare, I didn't know the answer, I didn't find them in the literature at all. So, so I was like shocked how this can happen if I studied, but yeah, because um, it's not about me. Sometimes we have also other people who have like, their own will their own um, mindset and like sometimes like um, it's not uh, in good connection with us so this example of college is, is really good because um, yeah um, professor gave his own questions and then uh, it, it was not about me to study because i study a lot and uh, yeah, uh, it was just like uh, bad luck, <laughs> let's say like that. And also like maybe some temporary situation which is, uh, which is um, uh, taking place right now. Some people, for example, wanted to go visit their parents right now or family, it's Christmas time and we planned and maybe someone bought tickets, someone booked some holiday and then what happened? Lockdown in Germany. Everything is closed. We cannot go anywhere. You need to be in your room. You, you see when you cannot go to the temple, spend time with people, have spiritual activities. So yeah, all these things we didn't expect and we, we don't want, but still they are happening to us. And there are actually many reasons why these things are happening. Some of them, it's like, our karma, our past lives, um, or let some people say it's destiny. And when we look in our lives, why things uh, like in our lives as devotees, why th these things are happening in our life, why sometimes also we have some difficulties uh, or, um, or why sometimes um, we get some like um, extra merciful situations. So in our life, it's a little bit different because we chant Maha Mantra and we, we try to connect with Krishna and we accept Krishna as our well-wisher, we accept Krishna as our friend. So in the, cases, in, in the case um, uh, of devotees, uh, sometimes in our life, actually most of the time, Krishna himself is interfering and doing some special arrangements for us and actually arrange things in our life which are the best for us in this moment for our spiritual growth so every moment in devotee's life is actually krishna's arrangement because krishna wants that we are closer to him he wants to um like teach us by these situations in our life so that we can connect with him more and actually this is um the main point i want somehow stress out today i want to share with you today because i'm also th thinking about it a lot these days actually at this point that uh, all dealings um, which we have in this life and um, and actually all situations 
depends actually on our vision because um, if we have materialistic vision of situation then um, yeah somehow our understanding will be according to that to this materialistic way of thinking so and on the other side if we have spiritual vision then also our perspective and our feelings and our life will look completely different so somehow i want to encourage myself <laughs> and i want to encourage you actually to um, have this bigger perspective of things and this um, spiritual vision uh, uh, of this material world and of happenings that that we have in our lives so and actually this verse is uh, Krishna said to Arjuna, all these verses, all this chapter actually that we are studying now. And um, we can also look this verse um, in the perspective of our lives. And um, we can see that sometimes, of course, maybe most of the time, things are not going according to our plan and we have these difficult situations. And we sometimes just want to give up. <laughs> Maybe even some people in this corona situation, it's like they think like, oh, now it's enough. I cannot deal with this anymore. I need to do something. I need to maybe go somewhere. And um, yeah, I just want to disappear somehow, run away. And Arjuna was in the same situation. He, he was going through some difficulties and he said to Krishna, now it's enough, I cannot do this, I cannot go into this war. I will go to the forest, I will meditate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the best, that's for us, that's the best for me. And in Arjuna case, he was like, he said, yeah, it's, it's, it's my fault, I'm, I'm, I'm weak. But in our lives, we sometimes, um, uh, when things are not going according to our plan, we are like sometimes blaming God, we are sometimes blaming uh, like people around us, or we are very heavy to ourselves. And uh, yeah, in, because in that time, like this fear in us is working and not this love actually, not this um, spiritual connection, not, we are not like conscious in that moment, but we are like, in this illusion, in, in these problems we have, and we cannot like see bigger perspective. So, yeah, and um, that's why Arjuna actually approached to Krishna because also he wanted some help, he wanted some guidance because he didn't see exit from this situation. And um, what Krishna said to him, <laughs> Krishna said, No, you stay, you fight. This is their duty now. And if you go to the forest, you think it, it will be good for you because you will find peace there, but you actually will not be happy because it is not your dharma in this life. And your duty is to stay and fight. And when you do this, and when you do this in the way you surrender to me, you follow my instructions, you think about me, then your life will be successful. And then actually you will be happy in some in some way so yeah so sometimes yes also circumstances in our life are like that and um, we maybe cannot change it but the thing is that we can change uh, our perspe uh, perception and un our understanding of these things and actually we can change our attachment to these things and as I said, change this materialistic vision with spiritual vision. And what does it mean actually materialistic spiritual vision? Materialistic vision actually means that we think that we can control everything in our lives and that we can arrange things in this way that it's perfect for us. And if they are not like that, if they are not like, um, as we want it, we become then disturbed, we become angry, we blame everyone, <laughs> and we are a little bit frustrated. And um, actually, what is the problem in this thing that we want to be 
controllers and that we want to control situations and that we want that everything is um, as we want it to be. The problem is there are many people in this world and everyone wants the same. And then our paths sometimes cross and these difficult difficulties like comes from that. And, um, and in that moment, you know, like you have friends, you have family and uh, someone is married, someone has roommate, whatever, like someone is meeting some people on the street. And somehow in these dealings with people, we see that, not, that it's not like that everything we need and it's not that uh, every time we need to be um, right it's not that we need to um, that we can actually um, have things um, as we want but actually we need to make some compromises and uh, we need to also do some things that are pleasing for others not just for ourselves and in this way we need to consider other living entities also and somehow get rid of this, yeah, you know, like selfishness that um, that um, only that what we consider right, only that what we consider like true as true. It's um, it's absolute. And um, in the end, after all these dealings with people, with situations, with this frustration that things are not going according to our plan. Then we realize that um, that we cannot control anything actually, and then things will happen in our life against our will, against our endeavors. Um, and as I said, that we cannot change. Bad things will come, lockdown will come, and uh, many unjust situations will come, but. Um, yeah, actually, um, our point of view is that what we can change and um, to have this spiritual perspective means uh, that we understand how even these challenging situations are here for us to help us to grow and go deeper in spiritual understanding. And actually, we we have this faith that God is well wisher that Krishna is well wisher of all living beings and that he's arranging things in our life for our welfare and that he wants the best and that he's never like injustice <laughs> so all our life all situations that we have in our lives are just like puzzles and these are like neutral puzzles neither one puzzle is good neither other puzzle is bad they are just like puzzle which are creating one big beautiful picture which is our life right now and um, yeah so actually have spiritual vision means to believe to krishna and to um, see that he's actually guiding us and that he's um that he's always like um, watching us and taking care about us and that he actually wants that we are happy that we are complete pe people um, so what does it mean like complete it means that we understand this life and that we are aware of the truth what this life is and how it functions, and um, that also in this maybe bad things things that we see like as bad for us but we also learn how to become uh, humble and how to also uh, practice this humility because as you know humility is um, humility is like the door to the spiritual world so also krishna wants for us that that we know how to deal with good situation that we know how to deal with bad situation and that we learn how to be always happy content no matter what's happening and um, yeah like Prabhupada is saying in bhagavad gita like either is if it's winter or summer like you need to cook for yourself 
if it's cold, if it's very hot, you need to cook. So also for us, like either bad things are happening, either good things are happening. We all need to always like keep this faith, keep, keep this enthusiasm about life and do the best we can actually. And, um, and have this understanding actually that uh, when um, we are going through the difficulties, um, then actually we have this opportunity to also take shelter of Krishna and that it's actually amazing because um, either we are suffering, we can gain something through this suffering. We can more connect with Krishna, ask him, pray to him why these things are happening to me. And uh, yeah, please help me because I see now I cannot do myself. So what can I do other than take um, your shelter? And um, yeah, so when we look now, for example, I had in my life some things that were not easy. And I, when I was in that period of life, when these difficulties came, I was thinking, um, oh, this will never end. <laughs> and probably all have this experience when we are suffering or when, when we have challenging situations, we think, oh, I cannot get out of this. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's like, it's, it's very heavy <laughs> and then somehow um, yeah but in that moment as devotees we know okay these difficulties are here but i'm continuing my spiritual life i'm doing my service i'm chanting i'm eating prasada <laughs> i'm continuing all, all these activities no matter what's what what's happening and when krishna sees this when he actually sees that we are continuing and that we are not giving up and that we didn't lose this faith. He will actually send us help. And um, in that moment, we can really see Krishna's hand in our lives because he will um, send help um, in, in the way like that he will send people who will help us or he will like uh make these situations in our life more clear he will give us um this higher transcendental vision of this situation and actually she he will show us the way out of this and then when we have also many situations like this because of course we will have challenges in this life but if we go to these challenges through understanding that uh, like like yeah okay now this is opportunity for me to to go deeper to see why this is happening to learn something about myself and to actually um, uh, take this situation as opportunity for me then like um, also it's like krishna is krishna is very happy and um, also after some times after some time we will see that uh, when we look back actually that these situations were very good for us because they make us um, they actually uh, um, put us one step more higher uh, in our spiritual life and um, now when we look back, all these situations actually also um, made our faith more stronger. And now I know, for example, if some difficulty come, I know I have Krishna. So no matter how, how hard it is or how strong is this, I know like he will show me the way as he always did. So also we can be very uh, uh, gra grateful about everything what is happening and it's maybe like in that moment negative but later we can see how it like change our lives in uh, in the way we maybe couldn't uh, imagine so also like in this situation and i'm also now living in germany and it's pretty much heavy <laughs> But somehow we got used to that it's heavy, like so many months. It's like soon in few months, it will be one year 
of all this. But when you see, we can like, <laughs> soon it will be New Year's Eve and we can look like this 2020, this like crazy year, we can like see still what we got. For example, um, yeah, we now here in Golokadam also, we don't have like public programs, but still like to, for me to have opportunity to be in the temple, to be with you now on, on Zoom, it's like really incredible. So we can see what we got actually. And my spiritual master, Kadamba Kanana Swami, he like, he said a few times, like, never think what you uh, cannot do. Always just be focused what you can do in this situation. So for us, actually, the message somehow that I also uh, wanted to share and that this verse inspired me, actually, probably you heard about this late Latin phrase, carpe diem, like uh, it means, uh, like, um, um how to explain in english uh like i will say a little bit like uh, live your life to the fullest and use this day uh, take this day which you have and uh yeah, yeah just just use it to the fullest and you know this is the phrase also live your life to the fullest and we in croatia we say like live your life with full lungs <laughs> like <laughs> because lungs are like breathing and so little live your life life with full lungs and in this way somehow uh it's very nice if we can really appreciate every day if we can appreciate every opportunity that we have right now and that we can actually dedicate our days dedicate our seconds dedicate um our breaths our heart our everything to to the higher higher thing something higher from uh, than than us and in our case i don't know actually it's, it's very hard to speak because i don't know who is my audience but still <laughs> um yeah dedicate our life to radha and krishna and actually to allow them that they lead us every day wherever they want to go that we just follow because like we dedicate our lives to them and we have full faith that they will lead us in the way best possible way so it says like do the best and krishna will do the rest and also um according to this verse yeah, do, do your best and uh, do your work the best, do your daily activities the best, but you don't need to be attached to the result. So it's amazing because usually we are doing things because we are attached to the result, but it's so like um, relieving that we don't need to be attached to the result because it's not about us to take care about this. So we can actually in this way live our life to the fullest and we can actually just express ourselves and serve because result no one cares about result so imagine like i will again take this example of the college uh, we are all studying studying and it's so stressful and then because we want result we want to pass the exam but imagine that you are just studying studying stu studying uh, on the college and it's not important will you like fail or you will get a good exam the feeling inside of us will be different and we will then mm, maybe be like more relaxed and uh, we will study with full like love or with enthusiasm and there will not be this like you know uh, not sleep uh, night without now nights without sleep so yeah for us the message of this verse that we don't need to be um, attached to all these things that are results of our activities is actually um, really nice and really like a uh, good opportunity and krishna is so kind that he allows us this that he that he just do doesn't care he just care cares about love and not about um, yeah result and not about the way 
which in not about the way how we will show this love, but he just care about love. So um, yeah, so actually uh, in this way, when we are not attached to this result, it also gives another benediction to us uh, because we then also give to Krishna opportunity uh, to create our life in the best possible way and, and he's magician we, and you know how cre it's like God created the whole universe so he created these living entities and it says that in this world there is no like two flowers are not the same <laughs> And they look the same, but they are not the same. So, and so many like creatures, so many living entities, sunsets, uh, like you, you know how all these things are beautiful. And, and when we see nature, every, everything is like so amazing in this world because Krishna is perfect magician, he's perfect painter. And in this way, he also wants to make some beautiful paint of our lives. So in this way, if we just let him do that, then our life will become real adventure. And um, as Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, like everything in this world is actually paraphernalia. It's like altar for serving, like expanded altar. We have our altar, but our activities are um, like uh, expanded altar, like an offering which we can uh, give. Um, and um, actually what we can do with all this what we have actually we can use this life we have and use this opportunity use all these things around us and do the best without expecting a result and we can also do whatever we have as an offering for krishna is a gift so we give him our love and he he will also re reciprocate and um, he will also put this magic, this color in our lives in many different ways. So a few days I was reading also one verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. And it says that actually wise person, transcendentalist actually understands that this materialistic way of life, this materialistic consciousness, me, mine, like... Um, I just need to collect things for my sense enjoyments and I don't care so much about others and uh, you know like this like very gross way of way of thinking that when we are just like very very selfish it says like like actually wise persons know that this kind of uh, this way of life can bring only sorrow but actually on the other hand like surrendering to the Krishna uh, in the way that we spiritualize our life actually um, and bring our life to this point that we want to serve others that we want to serve humanity and that we actually want to give and not only receive actually they say that this kind of thinking will bring us total complete fulfillment um, and uh, we know that when we live in krishna conscious way that automatically we become free from all this suffering. And it doesn't mean that unpleasant situations are not coming, but actually our perception is completely different. So, um, so in that moment when we have this per pers perspection, uh, perspective, sorry, this perspective that um, that there is no good, there is no bad, there there is just like opportunity for us to grow, to make something, to make like, as Prabhupada said, like to uh, make good job from bad situations. Um, actually, when we know that and we, when we change this perception, then we will see everything in our lives as perfect arrangement for us. And then also we will not take our life as so serious, all these situations. I know some situations um, 
uh, which I had like when I was 16, 17, there was like so serious for me. I, I thought, oh, it's now, now the end of the world if I, I don't know, go out on Saturday evening or something like that. But now all these things are so stupid <laughs> for me and I, I don't care anymore. And also now some situations I have are so serious, but in 10, 20 years, who, who will remember? So you can also remember now when you cried when, I don't know, in school or something like, you maybe fall in love and this other person didn't <laughs> reciprocate or or whatever happened like bad mark mom was angry it was so serious in that moment and you can see children even now like small children when they cannot get something it's so serious they're like screaming and the crying and like ah. <laughs> but when we look at it from our perspective now nah, like it's 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 silly no <laughs> it's not worth of it and um, and somehow to me it helps when I think like this when I look at my life and some difficulties or even like this corona situation and I think like okay it will also pass it's not so serious life is always changing and now it's like that but in the next moment it will be different and I like what Sachinandana Swami once said he said actually that everything is about this consciousness. And when we have, for example, small glass of water and someone put salt in it, then when we drink, it's like very unpleasant taste. And we cannot drink it. But if we have big, I don't know, lake or big bath, and then we put like, uh, again the same amount of salt in that lake or bath whatever like some big um some big ob in some big objects or something like that then if we like take this water we will not feel this salt so it's compared with our consciousness if we have small consciousness very like you know <laughs> like this like close consciousness then for us everything in life will have like this bitter taste but if we just expand a little bit our consciousness then we will not feel things as negative but we will use every opportunity for our spiritual growth um, so one thing in spiritual life is that actually we become liberated this liberation you know it's everywhere in every yoga always is this topic of liberation to be liber liberate from pains or if you go to some course it's like always like uh, stop suffering be happy things like that so yeah and by practicing bhakti yoga by serving krishna by serving others by chanting god's names actually um yeah, we, we are becoming, we become liberated from this suffering, but on the other side, we also get one gift and we become very happy, <laughs> but not only happy, we actually experience this true love, this true exchange between us and God. And we actually, uh, yeah, like we become free from suffering, but we also become extremely blissful. And um uh, and we get this opportunity actually to be in really really relationship to be connected with most loving person <laughs> and the person who will always be with here for us who will always be for us and never leave us actually so somehow this was my thoughts today um yeah i was somehow wanted to um, share how to deal in challenging situations and how actually it's very nice not to be always <laughs> um, uh, not always to depend on the results in this world and maybe take life like more joyful not so serious and then see how krishna will arrange things in our lives and be a little bit like more observing more introspective what is happening now in my life why what can i learn how can i deepen my connection with krishna and also like with people around me and with myself so
So if maybe someone wants to say something or comment something or have some other ideas, please. <laughs> If you have any questions, you can just unmute yourselves and ask the question, or you can type them into the chat box if you're too shy. Uh, so far, there's no question in the chat box. So maybe, and we're not too many people. Last week when we had Kadamba Kananda Swami, we were 85, which is a lot. Uh, so today we have around a dozen people as audience, so maybe just unmute yourselves by clicking on the little microphone icon in the bottom left corner of your screen, and then we can hear you. Uh, thank you. I saw Clement. Thank uh, one second. So. Hare Krishna, Madonna Lassa. Ah, Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hier ist Frank. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations for initiation. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Really, from my heart. <laughs> I'm so happy. Very beautiful name and very beautiful meaning and yes, yes. touching words from Guru Maharaj. So. <laughs> I'm very grateful for this too. Uh, dear Manalas, I, I really want to thank you for this very nice lecture. It uh, fits uh, to my actual situation. Uh, I only want to thank you and I really uh, appreciate the, sent the sentence which you said, when we are not attached to the result, then uh, Krishna can uh, act as the best uh, uh, way in our life. Uh, then this is I, um, I, I, this I will keep in mind. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much you. and all the best for you and, uh, and uh, uh, Merry Christmas or whatever do you feel during these days. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. May, 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 all be, may all be blessed uh, with the appearance of, of love of God in the heart, maybe, uh, maybe a little. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I think someone also asked something in the chat. Uh, how can we get to this consciousness of plenty apart from chanting, which is probably a solution for everyone? Well, actually, I, from my experience, it's like constant work on myself. Somehow, like um, um, associating with spiritual people who can also uh, uh, tell us. Uh, when we are maybe in some bad consciousness, who can rectify us, who can like give us some advices. And then of course, chanting like the primer thing and then reading literature, which is speaking about these like many examples. For me personally, life of saints, like from our, our Acharyas and uh, like Srila Prabhupada and other like great souls, this like also helps me and also like observing situation. For example, if I have some difficulties in life, I always see why this happened, what can I learn from this? Uh, and uh, then maybe in this moment, it's not so easy when pain is very uh, big or if, the, if we are angry or if situation is really bad, but then later like observing this situation, it can really help us to see that how we actually can take advantage from this so somehow these are my tools but of course also uh, yeah for me the crucial thing is um, association with uh, actually um, devotees and people who who can see bigger perspective uh, big, bigger um, perspective in that moment when we can see just small perspective. I hope this helped. Uh, Hare Krishna Mataji. Uh, please Hare Krishna. Take my humble obeisances and thanks a lot again for a wonderful lecture. 
so mataji you have already answered uh, in a way my question what i was thinking in my mind so my my question or my uh, query will be like that uh, if if we don't look at our problem or what the difficulties we are right growing going through the one and only way is to surrender to the lord right so somehow keep our faith that you already may already also mentioned during the lecture that we have to make our faith and give krishna that independence to decorate our life however he want so my my question will be uh, how to gain that faith and how to keep our this this kind of faith so strong that whatever it might take but we stand still on our position and our love and our everything for krishna is still on the same place other than any kind of frustration yeah any kind of anger that will be my question thank you well i would say like uh, that um, it comes also with uh, with many experience and many realizations and actually to have faith i think it 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 helps when we um when we don't give up even if time is hard and um if we in this hard times have faith and uh, keep our faith then krishna will will really give us give us a word because he will see wow even if he's suffering and he's saying like that even if my uh, yeah i will give this example he says like yeah lakshmi devi is so glorious she's like massaging my feet and she's always with me but my devotees who are in material world they are more glorious because they are going under so many difficulties and and they don't lose their faith in me and they are always like serving me thinking about me even if they are like sometimes insulted even if they go through some misery situation but they are always focused on me so so they are more glorious so krishna is so so uh, how to say grateful when he sees us that we are like trying and trying and no matter what happening what's happening and but i also see i also think uh, what my spiritual master um, said to me when i asked similar question he told me you also need some time <laughs> because you are like now a small seed but you need time to grow in flower and it it doesn't happen through the night it's not possible that we also have this strong faith due, uh, like in one night but also like um, like many days will pass many months will pass maybe some years will pass and then we will collect all these small experiences all these small realizations all these um, like things we read things we experience and then <laughs> our faith will like becoming more strong and more strong so sometimes we don't need to be like also heavy with ourselves if we don't have maybe faith in this moment but no matter of this we just i think need to like keep on going and then things will come in in perfect order and krishna is kind he's like always giving us um uh, something you know he's like not giving up on us if we don't have this faith he's like helping and i'm sure he will help you he will help me and yeah hope this is okay thank you mataji thanks so much hari bol thank you uh some more. Well, thank you clemens so maybe someone else would also like to say something or karuna shakti prabhu do you have something he disappeared i'm just very happy that you <laughs> joined us tonight and that you gave this wonderful presentation <laughs> and i'm also very glad that we have some uh, newcomers here it appears that there are some people who have not been 
who have not joined us at least in a, in a longer time or who have joined us uh, for the first time here on Zoom, at least on this uh, Wednesday or for the Wednesday evening programs. So welcome to you and thank you for your participation. But other than that, uh, yeah, feel free. If anyone ha else has a question, you can just unmute yourselves and say something. Okay, if you don't have any questions, then uh, thank you very much for uh, your presence and uh, yeah, for being here and wish you all the best in the rest of the year and the next year. And on Friday, it's a very special day. It's like uh, uh, actually Bhagavad Gita was spoken on these days, like 5,000 years ago. So um, it's a good opportunity to go more deep in Bhagavad Gita or maybe to read whole Bhagavad Gita just verses or something like that. So we will also have here in Goloka Dam, we will read all Bhagavad Gita that day, just verses. So, yeah. So thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening and uh, enjoy Christmas if you want to celebrate Christmas. And uh, uh, also we wish you happy advent of the Bhagavad Gita as it is called or also referred to as Gita Jayanti. Uh, and also uh, Martina just wrote something in the chat box. Thank you very much for these precious thoughts. I can only second that. Thank, Thank you. you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.